Um, first question, Ms. Yoakum, could you explain to us a little bit about the payment error rate measurement known as PERM audits, what they accomplish, this current status of those audits, and whether and if so, why you believe they're important? Sure. For the Medicaid program, there are three components that are measured. The One is fee-for-service, the second is managed care, and the third is eligibility determinations. The states, 17 states a year do these analyses, and they are done on a rotating basis. So every three years, you have covered all 51 states, if you in counting the district. So, the, and there's concerns in, in each of the areas. With el eligibility in particular, we just don't know the answer yet, and we haven't known it since 2014. Could you, and, and yeah. why is that? Um, CMS made a choice to not uh, publicly report any eligibility measures. They used a different system instead and worked internally with the states. Um, my understanding is that that, um, that portion of the PERM audit has resumed and we expect a report relatively soon. Is that your understanding? Our, yes, our understanding is usually it comes out about um, sometime in November, usually mid-, mid in, in, the, in the absence of that report, do we have less comprehensive, less accurate information about eligibility? Yes. So it's plausible that the improper payment rate that has been estimated at $36 billion could actually be higher than that? Yes. It could, we just don't know. All right, thank you. Um, 